Welcome to The World of Manimal, a television series from 1983 that left an indelible mark on the industry. Have you ever pondered what qualities render certain shows timeless symbols of the entertainment realm? Perhaps, like many, you stumbled upon Manimal during a moment of channel surfing, or maybe it was recommended to you by a friend. Either way, the first encounter with this unique series likely left you intrigued. Manimal, a show that blended crime-solving with a touch of the supernatural, was ahead of its time. The narrative revolved around Dr. Jonathan Chase, a man with the ability to transform into any Animala premise that sparked curiosity and captivated audiences. Despite its short-lived run, Manimal's legacy endures, prompting us to reflect on the enduring elements that contributed to its lasting appeal. Now, let's delve into some random facts about the show. Did you know that Manimal was a pioneering effort in combining crime procedural and fantasy genres on television? Its innovative premise paved the way for future shows to experiment with unconventional storylines. Moreover, the transformation sequences, though limited by the technology of the time, added a layer of mystique to the series. As you reminisce about Manimal, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences with the show. Whether it's a favorite episode, a character that left a lasting impression, or a unique connection you formed with the series, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what about Manimal has stayed with you all these years? Feel free to share your thoughts and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this iconic series. Your stories add depth to the collective appreciation for Manimal, making it more than just a television show. Manimal, a television series that emerged in 1983, combined crime solving with a supernatural twist, captivating audiences with its unique premise. Dr. Jonathan Chase, a shape-shifting polymorph, employed his extraordinary ability to transform into various animals to aid law enforcement in solving crimes. The show's distinct narrative flair was a product of Glenn A. Larson's creative vision, weaving together elements of crime procedural and fantasy. The iconic characters, particularly Chase and his companion Ty Earl, left an indelible mark on viewers. The series showcased a distinctive style, seamlessly blending genres to offer a fresh take on crime solving that was ahead of its time. Despite its novel concept, Manimal faced challenges and was unfortunately short-lived, with only eight episodes produced. However, its impact on popular culture endured, leaving a lasting impression on fans who appreciated its innovative approach to storytelling. The show's legacy lies in its ability to transcend conventional television boundaries and introduce a captivating fusion of genres that resonates with audiences even today, demonstrating the enduring appeal of unique storytelling. In retrospect, Manimal remains a cult classic that sparked discussions about the possibilities of genre-blending narratives, showcasing the potential for creativity within the television medium. It stands as a testament to the imaginative power of television. Amidst its brief stint on television screens, the 1983 series Manimal found an unexpected champion in France. Despite facing criticism in its home country, the show garnered acclaim across the Atlantic, earning praise for its compelling performances and top-notch production values. French critics lamented the series' premature end, contrasting it with the seemingly endless lifespan of less impressive American counterparts. The disparity in taste between the two audiences became evident as online discussions revealed a divide in opinions, with Americans disparaging the show without substantial critique. In contrast, the French audience recognized the entertainment value, expressing regret over its limited run. The prospect of a resurrection by a French production company with the original cast fueled hopes that went unrealized. The contrasting reception sheds light on the intriguing dynamics of television appreciation on either side of the Atlantic, underscoring Manimal's enduring appeal for those who embraced its unique blend of crime solving and the supernatural. In the realm of international appreciation for the TV series, Manimal found an unexpected advocate in France. Despite facing domestic criticism, the show earned acclaim across the Atlantic for its compelling performances and top-notch production values. French critics lamented the series' premature end, contrasting it with the seemingly endless lifespan of less impressive American counterparts. One notable aspect contributing to Manimal's unique legacy is its reception in different language adaptations. In the Spanish dubbing, an interesting linguistic challenge arose as J.C., insistent on being addressed by his initials, became Joe to C. This translation, differing significantly from the original, presented a hurdle in matching lip movements with the added syllable. 
A simpler alternative, like retaining the English pronunciation and calling him Jesse in foreign languages could have eased this issue. Further, in the French dubbing, Canadian actor Richard Darbois provided the voice for Simon Mackerkindale, eliminating the British accent associated with Jonathan Chase. This led many French viewers to assume that Simon was an American actor. Officer Brooke McKenzie, portrayed by Marie-Christine Dara, also underwent a linguistic transformation in the French version. The intriguing dynamics of Manimal's reception on either side of the Atlantic reveal a disparity in taste and appreciation for the show's distinctive elements. The varying language adaptations add another layer to the discussion, highlighting the nuances that influenced audience perception and engagement. As the series left an indelible mark on international audiences, the contrasting reception sheds light on the intriguing dynamics of television appreciation, underscoring Manimal's enduring appeal for those who embraced its unique blend of crime-solving and the supernatural, transcending linguistic and cultural boundaries. Jonathan Chase, known by his preferred initials JC, adds a distinctive touch to the 1983 TV series. His insistence on this abbreviated moniker becomes a recurring element throughout the show, emphasizing his character's individuality and perhaps a glimpse into his personal quirks. In a surprising turn, creator Glenn A. Larson brought back Jonathan Chase for a crossover with Nightman. This event marked a departure from Manimal's original practical effects transformation, replaced by a CGI sequence. Larson's decision to revive the character showcased the series' enduring legacy and adaptability to evolving production techniques. Interestingly, the 1983 series shares notable similarities with the 1998 Animorphs series. Both explore the theme of shape-shifting protagonists, although Manimal predates Animorphs by a significant margin. This connection raises questions about the influence of earlier shows on later ones and the lasting impact of certain narrative elements in the realm of television. In conclusion, whether it's JCS' distinctive preference for initials, the evolution of practical effects to CGI, or the intriguing parallels with Animorphs, the 1983 TV series Manimal continues to reveal layers of complexity and influence within the world of television. As we bid adieu to the mystical realm of Manimal, let the echoes of shape-shifting wonders linger in the corridors of your imagination. From the enigmatic Dr. Jonathan Chase to the pulsating beat of urban jungles, this series transported us through the veil of reality into a world where the extraordinary danced with the mundane. As you reflect on the silhouettes of crime-fighting prowess and the untamed beauty of metamorphosis, take a moment to delve into your own personal tapestry of memories woven by Manimal. Was it the mesmerizing transformations or the relentless pursuit of justice that etched itself into the fabric of your recollections? This isn't just the end of a series, it's an invitation to share your own narrative. What hidden facets of Manimal resonate with your soul? Which episode stirred the embers of nostalgia within you? Perhaps it's the untold tales of those rare encounters with fellow enthusiasts, a shared gaze that spoke volumes in the silence of fandom. In the grand mosaic of television history, Manimal occupies a unique spatia testament to the era's spirit and a beacon for those who appreciate the extraordinary within the ordinary. Your experiences, your musings, they add color to this canvas of collective memory. So, let the dialogue continue. Drop your anecdotes and reflections below. Weave the threads of your own story into the rich tapestry of Manimal's legacy. For in sharing, we breathe life into these narratives, ensuring that the legacy of Manimal transcends time, echoing through the corridors of our shared cultural consciousness. Thank you for embarking on this journey through shape-shifting wonders and crime-fighting mystique. Your time and musings are cherished, adding depth to the ongoing narrative of Manimal. Until we meet again in the realms of collective reminiscence, thank you for being a part of this tale.